Good morning. How are you doing today? Happy Wednesday. Piper, say hello. Say we just had kind of a big... Oh, there's a Samaria. There she goes. Yeah, she's been smiling lots. Do you see it? We had a spit-up situation when the countdown timer was at 53 seconds. So we took care of that, didn't we? Okay, let's say hello to the people. Let's see who's here with us this morning. Yeah, we have Miss Teresa. And we have Miss Claudia. And Miss Connie. You might get to see her soon. And Facebook user, Coffee and Hearts. Good morning. Nice to see you. It is good to have everybody with us today. Looks like we're going to get some rain today, but we've had a beautiful few days, haven't we? It's been so nice and we need the rain, right? All right, we're going to jump in. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't know. I think you can hear me. I think we've got people here. Oh, there, there's Miss Emily. Piper's wide awake. She says, hi, sweetie. She is wide awake. She's been doing so great. All right, we are jumping into goodness, um, day three in our study. And I think... Um, the study is entitled, Why the Parentheses? And I think I can get this up here, there, that you can see it um, now, Why the Parentheses? Our verse is from Ephesians 5, uh, and it's verse 9. And let's see, can I click on that to make it bigger for me? I don't remember. Um, but this chapter five, I'm going to talk about it in the devotion. It talks about Christian living, but this particular verse is in parentheses. So I wanted you to see that for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. All right. I'm going to get out of that and get back to me because I can't read it there. Anyways, more practice needed. All right. Our verse today comes from the book of Ephesians written by Paul to the church in Ephesus as an encouragement to them while he himself was in prison. I just love this whole chapter because it really is a guidebook to Christian living. Like if you consider the whole Bible a guidebook, that's great. But if you want like the Cliff Notes version, Ephesians chapter five is pretty good for that. Basically, if you say that this is who you're gonna be because you follow the Lord, then naturally this is how you'll live your life on a day-to-day -day basis. I encourage you to go back and read it later today. But as for our key verse today, it's in parentheses. Why? Something in parentheses gives us a little more description or explanation, right? Like if I, um, I don't know, if I'm leaving a note for Tom or something, um, would you put the beef in the crock pot? I made in parentheses say, I've already added the liquid and the seasoning, right? It gives more explanation, more detail to what I'm doing. Um, so let's look at what comes before this verse, then we'll understand the explanation after. And I went back to verse six, let no one deceive you with empty words for because of such things, God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore do not be partners with them for you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord live as children of light. So Paul is telling us um what the world this kingdom is like deception empty words disobedience i mean don't examples just come right to your mind of those things immediately especially empty words right in this society and then says we're not to partner with them because we no longer bless you come bless you because we're no longer in the dark as they are but we are in the light his light and are called to live as children of light. Then in the parentheses, our verse, he defines what living as children of light looks like. For the fruit of the light consists of all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And there we have it. If we are living as children of light, then the fruit of that light consists in all, gaps in my writing, goodness, righteousness, and truth. As we work on a day-to-day -day basis to build our spiritual goodness fruit muscles, we need to be in his light and to work to produce the fruit of goodness. Today, let's think about the goodness fruit that comes from our heart, mind, and mouth. Bless you. 
as we work to reside in the light as his daughters. Would you pray with me, please? God, thank you for continuing to give me instructions for living in this kingdom. I don't want to reside in the dark, but rather be your child living in the light. Please remind me of that today and make me mindful to produce the fruit of goodness in my actions as a result. In Jesus' name, amen. That was the biggest spit up ever during prayer. Thank you so much, my sweet little friend. All the ladies saw that big spit up. Say, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm still learning how my digestive system works. Yeah. Does that feel better? <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. Oh, I just to jet today. Jot one goodness fruit that might show up in your life today as a result of being a child of the light. Now we got the hiccups. All right. Well, there you have it. They're, oh, big hiccups, baby girl. Yeah. Okay. We're going to say goodbye to the people. Be a blessing to everyone you see today. Be the hands and feet of Jesus. The world needs the hope the light, the goodness that you have to offer to them. Um, if you're watching later on, know that we love you. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.